Hello, welcome to our info session for the Penovation Works Accelerator. I'm Jamie Sweet. I'm the Associate Director of Educational Entrepreneurship here at Penovation Works. I'm with Christy Carabello. I'll have her introduce herself as well. Hi, everybody. I'm Christy Carabello. Like Jamie said, I am the Communications Associate here at Penovation Works, but I also have gone through the Penovation Accelerator um, with my own business. Last year, I had the pleasure of meeting Jamie and working with her and Kirsten over the summer. So we'll get started. We'll do a brief overview of the structure of the program, um, share some examples of different accelerator speakers that we've had, as well as mentors, um, and we can, can answer questions along the way. Sounds good. So if you're not familiar, the Penovation Accelerator, um, here we invite a cohort of all local startups to engage in a six-week program um, to focus on their business strategy as well as build out their network. So our cohort participates in weekly education sessions with subject matter experts. We pair each company with a dedicated mentor and um, host networking events with different groups within the Philadelphia entrepreneurship community. Our accelerator program concludes with Pitch Day where we have judges, mentors, and local investors come and hear the different pitches from each of our cohort companies. So to give you a little bit of background about the selection process, um, we have a review committee of about seven people. Um, this is made up of representatives from different pen um, organizations and departments, as well as some external folks that are giving feedback and um, reviewing each of the applications. So when you submit your application, each of our review committee members reads through the application and scores the what you've submitted based on the idea, team, market fit, investment readiness, and then the impact that our program could potentially have for your company. We want to make sure that you're a good fit for us and we're a good fit for you. And then once we um, uh, once we put all the scores together and we review and we discuss, we make a final decision and create our cohort. Um, so just so all of you know, some of the key dates, applications are open right now and deadlines for that will be May 10th. We'll take a couple of weeks to review and discuss the cohort. And then by May 22nd, send out decision notifications. The program begins June 12th. We will we will have our Juneteenth date will be rescheduled to accommodate for the holiday. We will also take off the week of July 4th. Um, so the six weeks will conclude with pitch day on July 24th. Our weekly structure looks a little bit like this. Um, we start off on Monday mornings with a brief coffee chat. This is virtual via Zoom. We just like to have a quick check-in with the cohort. Everybody gets to share a little bit about what they're working on for the following week, discuss wins, challenges, and just get to know each other. This is very informal, but it's a nice way to stay connected and keep, keep our momentum going forward. I actually really looked forward to the coffee chats each week. <laughs> I thought they were so great and you had such nice prompts each week that it really got everybody talking and engaged. So that's, yeah, that's a really fun part. It's nice. It's a good way to get to know everyone and um, just keep in touch. And it's a, it's a light lift because it is a Monday. <laughs> Uh, Wednesdays, we get together in the afternoon at the Penovation Center in person. We have our subject matter expert pre present. Um, we have elevator pitches. Each company goes through and we present feedback. And then the day is, is wrapped up with a nice curated networking event. And that's when we bring in 
different partners, um, alumni companies, and various players in, in the ecosystem so that you're both growing your company and growing your network. We will match each of you with a mentor. Each company is matched with a mentor and your we encourage you to meet with them once a week. This is a flexible schedule. We're not going to dictate when or how you meet. You can meet in person with your mentor here at the Innovation Center. You can meet with them virtually at a coffee shop um, and dependent on your schedule and their schedule. So typically the topics that we review include market assessment, business model, fundraising and startup teams, branding and storytelling, and then the ask. The ask is really identifying what you're going to present to the audience on pitch day. Is it um, asking for a specific funding number? Is it that you're looking for team members? Um, so all of these culminate into your pitch day. They should be topics that um, help you to evaluate what your needs are and really drill down on your, on your business plan. Just to give you an idea, here are some examples of speakers that we've had and uh, networking guests. So um, as you see, we've had representatives from Wharton, from Osage Venture Partners, GSK, we have had a lot of alumni engagement from our previous cohorts, which is always, always fun to have them come and, and share their experiences. Uh, we usually have someone from NextFab come to visit. And then the other component of this is before pitch day, we have pitch feedback sessions and we gather our, our network of folks. PCI Ventures is the tech transfer office, um, part of Penn's tech transfer office, and they work with startups and spin outs, and they have a lot of knowledge about pitching to, to investors and to team members and angels. Uh, so they come in and they'll provide feedback. So you will be completely prepped for pitch day. One of the um, one of the biggest benefits I think is connecting each company to a dedicated mentor. And we've collected over the years, a wide variety of people from different sectors, experiences to mentor our startups. We encourage each of you, like I said, to meet for one hour once a week with the mentor. We also provide some discussion points for all of you to stay on track. But the beauty of, of this mentorship is that you can really take the conversation anywhere. Um, and that can be from the perspective of the startup or the mentor drilling down on specific questions and, and topics that you feel you need support. Yeah, I was even able to reach out to my mentor after the accelerator ended and she was like very helpful and open to continuing the relationship, which is really nice. So it doesn't just end after the six weeks, it can become a real like nice mentor relationship going forward. And that's what we hope for. We really like to hear those stories. It's not always the case, but um, I think that it's just a great way to get to know somebody that can continue to be part of your support team. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what kind of companies we're, we are really looking for. Um, the biggest thing off the bat, we are looking for companies that are in the Philadelphia region. If you are a company that's based in Florida, that is great. We applaud you for your entrepreneurial spirit, but we are really focused on growing and supporting Philadelphia-based companies. And the weekly sessions do take place in person at the Penovation Center, which is located in the city of Philadelphia. So for those of you who are outside of those boundaries, um, we're happy to point you in the direction of a different accelerator, but these are for our Philadelphia region startups. 
industry-wise, we're pretty agnostic and our companies have, have ranged from consumer products to robotics, smart cities, health tech, med tech. Um, I, th I think that that's kind of the fun part is bringing together companies that are maybe in different sectors, but primarily in an early stage so you can help and support each other. So for stage, we're looking for somebody who is past the idea phase of their venture post MVP or proof of concept. So you've thought through the different pieces and have something to show for it. It might not be pretty, but uh, it might just be a prototype or um, um, an app mapped out. And as long as you really put thought into it, I think that we can, can help further your venture. We're looking for companies that have raised less than one million in capital and are generating less than five hundred thousand in revenue. So, just really early stage companies, and that's because we think that this is where we can help support you the most. That's all I have, unless you have any questions. Um, I think that we went through the the basics and. Feel free to check out more on our website. You can scan the QR code that takes you to our info page. And I'm happy to um, answer any questions via email or right now. And I would say just from somebody who has been through the accelerator, it is such a great opportunity to learn and meet people because being a founder can be very lonely at times and you're not always sure which direction to go. So really taking the opportunity to make those connections, whether it's with mentors or other founders in the group or Jamie and Kirsten, the associate directors, it's, it, it is what you make of it, but it's, it can be such an amazing opportunity and something to really help accelerate your business growth going forward. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that Jamie is having office hours on May 1st from 10 to 11. So if you do have any one-on-one -on -one questions, um, something specific that you want to talk to Jamie about, you can register for those office hours. And we'll have the link up on social media uh, within the next few days. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, Jamie. All right. Good luck to everyone. We hope to see you, your applications soon.